All right, so did you hear that? Let's uh, let's get through this here. In fact, we're going to make day one and day two. We're going to do it all together because nature, man, nature can be scary sometimes. All right, so here we go. What they're asking us to do here is to compare things when given different information. So they're going to give us a table. They're going to give us a graph that's here. So they want us to find the rate. And they want to know who's making more money, Jimmy or Sarah. Now, you've got nothing in on your graph. We're going to fill it in here in a moment. Typically, they're always going to, not typically, they're always going to give you the information. But I, we wanted to walk you through it just as a reminder of how we graph things. So what we do want to keep in mind is, hey, when we've got a table, money's always on top and time is always on the bottom. Now, you might look at this table and be like, uh, the table's not set up like that. I know. We've got to make sure when we're finding the rates, we set it up in that particular manner. So we always just say, grab the first one, okay? Um, but remember, I need money on top. So I've got to put the $42.50 up there. And, and then my time is my hours will be down here. We're finding the rate, and the rate is how much for one. So I want to know how much money for the one hour. So when I look here, ooh, let's divide by five. And remember, this is the theme here. You're always dividing by the denominator because anything divided by itself is a one. So we'll do $42.50 and we'll divide it by five. So grab the calculator here. We'll reach it in here. We'll punch that in, $42.50, and let's divide it by five. Okay. Now, I get 8.5, but remember, when we're talking money, we need two place values for the cents. So I do need to add my zero. So it's $8.50 for the one particular hour. Okay, now graphing-wise here, let's let's just kind of review of what we're going to be watching. And this is why we have the empty graph that's here, because we want to talk through it. So first thing here is um, your x-axis is what goes left to right. And time always goes on the x-axis. Everything else is just, okay, you go on the y-axis. So in this case, that would mean that the money would be on the y-axis that's here. All right. Um, what we have to watch for is the points that they give us. All right. So I'm going to have you fill in a few numbers here and, and just to kind of uh, uh, show you that's here. So, for example, um, let's put a, a one that's there. I'm going to skip to the two, three, four, and then I'm going to put a five that's there. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I'm going to put a 10. So I am counting by ones. I'm just not writing all the numbers in. Let's go up on the y-axis. All right. Let's say that we've got mm -mm, going up there. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Let's go up five spots. All right. And there, when you go up five spots, um, I want you to end up putting, let's throw down Let's put down a 38. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to put a 38. That's right there. Okay, so here's, here's what we're getting after. We always have to grab an ordered pair. So let's say, all right, I'm going to go to the right 5. I'm going to go up 5. I'm going to put a point. And we're going to draw that line. So go ahead and do that here. And here's the point we're trying to make. Ha, point. Get it? I'm drafting a point. Here's the point. All right, sorry. Here's what we want out of it. We want you to write down an ordered pair. And so based off of this graph, I've only got one. It's the ordered pair 5, 38. And so what we want to realize here is that when we want to find the rate, we always take the y-coordinate and divide it by the x-coordinate. Okay, well, who's the y-coordinate? Well, that's always the second number the x-coordinate is always the first one. So, if I go up here, I can see, oh, the y is the 38. I'll put the 38 down. Fraction bar for division. The x, oh, it's the 5. So we'll put a 5 that's there. Now I can go back and reach for my calculator, and I can type in 38 divided by 5. And I get a 7.6. So that means $7.60 for the one hour. So this is why we spent two days on it. There's a lot that went on there. 
But what we want you to keep in mind is, is you always have to grab a point. And, and they have to give you the points. So I know the graph was blank to begin with. Don't worry, we'll have them filled in for you in class. But the idea here is, is you can only grab an ordered pair. I don't want you always reaching for the first number that you see on the chart. It's about writing down an ordered pair. And then we always do the y coordinate divided by the x coordinates. And from here, we can see, okay, who's making more money? Well, 850 is more than $7.60. So in this case, it would be Jimmy that we're looking at. So Jimmy would be making more money. So that's what we'll be working on. Table-wise, set it up. Money on top, time on the bottom. Let's find the rate. They give you a graph. You write down an ordered pair. And then we always end up dividing the y coordinate by the x coordinates. And that will be our rate. Now, there's one more that we're going to look into, all right? And we've got to fast forward here, all right? You can see here it says uh, lesson 19, day number two, all right? But here's what we want to point out to you, is we're going to be given an equation in this particular day. So, yeah, you should skip ahead there. Go, go right to here. And here's what we're going to watch for. They're going to give you something like this. And what we want to keep in mind is, is what is unit rate? Okay, so unit rate is... How much for one? So in this particular case, all right, we want to know how much it is for one. Well, remember, time always goes in the bottom. All right. So the idea is, is you've got to plug in a one for the time. All right. They told you that T represents the time. So let's go on over here. If you plug a 1 in for your t there, well, a number up against a letter means to multiply. So we've got this. They want me to plug a 1 in for the t. So what's 5 times 1? 5. Yeah, that's it. I mean, so what we're saying here is, the M represent the math facts, so that tells me that we can do five math facts in the one, and whatever the time is. Now, they didn't tell me what it is, minutes or hours. Um, let's hope it's minutes, maybe. Seconds? That's too much. Imagine doing five addition problems in one second. Anyway, that's it. That's not it. So all we're going to do here is, is we just plug in a one every single time for the time multiply it by one so what's going to happen nothing nothing so what we're going to find is is the unit rate is actually always staring at you it's always going to be right there when it's the equation and that's again something that we're watching for so again we've got three different things the the table which we've spent some time with the graph yeah a little bit of time with and now the equation that's there so that's what we got for you guys today um all right like i said if you're like uh, i don't know about this it's okay. There's no reason to sound the alarms. All right. Um, we'll be talking more about this in class. And, uh, hey, we'll get everything back to normal that's there. All right. Um, we'll see you guys later.